For us, it's a lot about self-sufficiency. I think the way the future is distributed power generation. Very many people will be generating their own power and sharing it with others. We've been on this land for nearly three years now and we haven't had to pay any bills in that time. If you get the, just the design of the house itself correct, your energy consumption can be so, so greatly reduced. And anybody can do that, doesn't matter where you live. Every new house that's built should have good passive solar thermal design. Taking maximum advantage of the sun, we, we've got these, these big windows that, that let the sun shine in. The sun shines on, on this large area of concrete floor that soaks up the warmth during the day. It stays warm for a long time into the evening, keeps the house warm. We don't use power for heating or cooling. Right now it's probably getting up around the mid-20s, even though I think it's about six degrees outside at the moment. There's a lot, there's a lot of satisfaction in, in just taking responsibility for the resources that we use. Yeah, just being very hands-on about how, how the house is operating, how the power's going. It's a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> we have so much surplus power that we thought we can run an electric car. We think it's really cool to have a car that I already describe as running on sun and rain. Being self-sufficient, it's also a way of demonstrating what can be done to others. This is the implementation of, of, of a lot of things that we've believed in for a long time. One household building a sustainable house doesn't solve the world's problems, but if everybody does, it's, it's going to make a big difference.